Hey there everyone, Samuel here, and time for another vlog. Now, there's been a little trend going around recently on YouTube, and that is the trend of my first, where people talk about some of their first of various things. Of course, because I have no brain, I have taken my first and made a handy list on my iPod here, so I can refer to them. So, here we go with my list of first. Um, number one, my first handheld was the original Game Boy. That's right, I'm talking about the Game Boy that was so thick, it's about this thick maybe, and if you chucked it out a window, you could kill someone. Tetris took up way much more of my time than I'm proud to say it took up more of my time. Um, the first console I had was the Nintendo Entertainment System. So in other words, the first Nintendo console as well as the first Nintendo handheld. And I call this technically mine, although my grandmother owned this. I don't know why she owned an NES or anything of that type. I've never actually taken the time to inquire it. But I played Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt for so much time whenever I was pl whenever I was little. Just playing those two games is a lot of my childhood and actually led me down the Nintendo road that I still stick to even though they're doing some goofy things recently. Uh, my first computer, the Tandy 1000 TL. So, we didn't have a computer at all. And then, at some point, my aunt said, I bought a computer and I don't want it. Do you want it? So, one of my aunts on my dad's side sent us this computer. And I remember being so blown away by this box that did things. And, mind you, this was back in the day when they barely did anything. I mean, I had a couple of games. One of them was this weird caveman Olympics game. I don't know if anyone would know what that is. Or there was also this game that sort of helped me a bit with English. It may be subconsciously one of the things that turned me into the grammar nut that I tend to be at times. Um, but the pretty much setup was that there was this evil genius by the name of Morty, I think was his name. It, it was it was a two-name character, but for some reason I can't remember it. Anyway, there were these robots that tried to make the school disappear with disappearing paint. And you had to read context clues in these things in order to figure out what the robot's going to look like and take pictures in order to stop them from doing things. Yeah, mildly complicated, but hey, got me into grammar. Um, my first podcast I ever got into, because even though I'm a podcaster, it took being a fan of podcasts before I really got into it. And it wouldn't be until several years afterwards that I would do my first podcast, Samcast, of course. But the first podcast I actually became a fan of was The Daily Gizwiz, and it was the lure of Leo Laporte. I had just gotten my iPod, and I wanted stuff to put on it. I still had dial-up at this point, by the way. I was still on the CompuServe AOL, you know, even though it was starting to really that we live in a rural area, so we always got the stuff late. We still get the stuff late. That's why I'm on satellite internet instead of the cable. But the point is that the lure of Leo Laporte, the guy that I watched on tech TV all those days, all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, he's doing stuff online now, and I happen to have a device that can put this stuff on there? Sign me up. And then that would lead me to being into Twit. The Twit podcast would lead me to getting into things like Dignation, and, and as a result, all of these Revision 3 properties, and all these things that go together. I've always said podcasting is almost like how radio hosts used to be. If you were into Jack Benny, you are probably into George Burns. If you were into... George Burns and Jack Benny, there's chances are you liked Bob Hope, and because of Bob Hope, you liked Bing Crosby because you put those two in a room. Well, you know. Um, or maybe you don't. Look them up. Yeah, or ask your parents if you're too young. My first MP3 player, surprisingly, was not an iPod. In fact, I still have the dang thing, even though it doesn't run. This is a Dell DJ. Had the little scrolly wheel and everything, and it did click in. But this was my first MP3 player, and look at how hunkin' huge this is compared to what MP3 players are now. Huh? Interesting, huh? Um, but yeah, so that spent time. My first job was Walmart. Yeah, I know. Walmart. If people are already going, why would you work there? I, I love people, okay? You guys know this by now. Uh, my first job at Walmart was being a cashier, but I would later go on to find the 
calling in that place that no one would be surprised of when they know me. Toys. Yeah. I was the goofy guy that if an Optimus Prime helmet was out of the box and I had to check it in the back, I would wear the helmet. I actually did this once. Wear the helmet while walking back to check it into claims. So, yeah. Cell phone. Now, you guys know recently I just got a dumb flip phone. That way I can go for practices and stuff like that whenever I'm involved with plays. But my first cell phone was not that phone. In fact, funny little story attached to that one. Here's where we start getting into the personal stories attached with these folks. Um, so there was a girl that really liked me. I'm not making this up. She sent me this cell phone because I didn't have one. It was one of those Go phones that AT&T used to make. I don't know if they still make them or not, but anyway, little Go phones that AT&T used to make, and she sent me one because I didn't have one. There would be other interesting things involving that girl. At some point, maybe I'll tell some of the stories. Um, my first girlfriend, however, was not that girl. It was in elementary school. So I won't give any names, but it's probably one of those adorable things that my mom decides to tell me from time to time. Um, but yeah, we held hands and everything, and we were just an adorable elementary kids loving each other, you know, it's great. Um, I cannot recall when it ended. I know it wasn't a drama because, heck, we were elementary school kids, but still to this day, whenever I see that person, we do joke about the whole fact that, yeah, we dated in elementary school. And then finally, my first kiss, because this is on everyone's list that seems to do these. Again, no names, but I remember it clear as day. I had taken this girl out for several dates. This was in high school by the time I got my first kiss, okay? So took her out for several dates, and eventually, I bring her to her porch of the house that she lives, it, it's pitch black outside. The only thing lighting us is the romantic light of a porch light. Okay. So while my ride is sitting there, because at this point I couldn't drive yet, my ride is sitting there with their backs turned because they had to back into the parking lot. Maybe this is what helps out a little bit. But we both kind of gave each other that look. You know the look you gave when we, we, we're going to do this? We were actually ready to take that step in the thing? And then we just kissed, and the moment, it was not fairy tale like everyone swears it is, but it was one of the most beautiful, simplistic moments that you could ever have. I prefer that type of thing over a fairy tale one anyway. Birds did not fly everywhere or anything like that, but it was just a quiet little moment where we kissed, we sort of looked at each other afterwards, it was like, uh, good night, you know, because both of us were fluttery. We were both very nervous kids still, so... Yeah, it was fantastic and one of those simple moments that I'm always going to treasure. What can I say? You guys know me. I like the simple moments. So, that's a list of some of my first. All of my other fellow YouTubers, by all means, jump on the bandwagon. Everyone else has. <laughs> but if you guys want to find more of my vlogs, you can go to tscn.tv slash vlog and you'll be able to find those. And check out all our other content while you're on the site, too. We work really hard to bring it to you guys. So, until next week, continue to live your lives, and I'll see you guys. Bye. This has been a production of the Samcast Network. TSCN.TV What's your passion?